Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hospital Podcast episode 411. I think this tune was written for these times. What a team, what a terrible waste my life. Don't play, drop on my thumb like my knife. What a team, what a terrible waste my life. Don't play, drop on my thumb like my knife. What a team, what a terrible waste my life. Don't play, drop on my thumb like my knife. When him shut down, it's a whole jump down. Tight down, tight down, give you a sound. What a team. It's the sound of Think Tonk. Remixed by Elside. What a thing. What a thing, what a terrible waste of life. Titan, Titan, heavyweight sound. Now, as you know, we are in the middle of a global pandemic. A lot of us have to stay at home. And this presents interesting challenges. I've got loads of shouts from people who are telling me what they're up to. And uh, I'll try and work through them. No Gears says, uh, hey Tony, can I get a shout out? Myself and two mates, Paul Ski and Kev, are setting out to ride 5,500 kilometres across Australia on bicycles on the 21st of March. It's part of a race called the Indian Pacific Wheel Race. I've decided to ride a fixed gear, brakeless track bike for the adventure. Seems like a good time to get out of the city and go nomad. Uh, let's just hope they don't shut everything down and tell us to go home halfway across. It's going to take us about four weeks for the crossing. I'm going to have to dig deep in the back catalogues of D&B for this one. Thank you for spreading the good word and I hope all is well in the UK. Shout in from uh, Megan, our Head of Legal Affairs, who is now in the Bahamas. I know, she is working from home in the Bahamas, it's true. And she says, can you water lose fern please, T? Because the office is basically deserted. Hospital Records is open for business, but everybody's working from home. Apart from... David Lopez, who is uh, manfully manning the hospital web shop, which is open as usual for all your orders. So if you're bored at home, peruse the hospital shop and see what we've got in store for you. We've got loads of new designs coming in. Loads of amazing albums. And uh, I'm going to be bringing those to you on podcasts on a weekly basis as well stepping it up for the duration we don't know how uh, we don't know how long this is going to last for at all we have to make the best of it and use the time as best we can we 
wicked tune this. Need for mirrors. Bugger on suit up. Shout going out to Sweet P. We all know Sweet P. And she says, I want to shout out to all NHS workers like myself who don't get to self-isolate as they wish. Absolutely. Massive shout out to people on the front line who actually have to deal with this business, deal with the coronavirus, deal with other people with health problems. The NHS isn't currently testing everybody who works for the NHS, which I think is crazy. But hopefully that's going to change. There's a massive petition at the moment. Google it, sign it. Shout going out to superfan Tony Pony. To Thomas Battle G, who says shout out to oh, Tony Coleman for being so kind and lovely. Tom Fun says, uh, I'm busy still working. It's not affecting my job, but I'm on a day off. I've just been to Tesco, and if anything, this crisis is making strangers talk to each other properly, which never normally happens. Keep it positive, people. One love. Do you know what? I've found that when I've been in shops or walk, just walking around. People are talking to each other at bus stops. People are sort of saying, you okay? stay safe and it's really really nice so let's use this let's use this to make us think about how we live our lives how we don't communicate properly to one another and how we can help our neighbors and help each other and just talk to people because we've got we've got voices we've got mouths it's a nice thing to do communicate with the people you meet smile at them make them feel better Absolute respect to Need for Mirrors for the amount of reverb on the drums on this track. And it works. It's really good. Ellie Casali says, Hi Tony, I'm a primary school music teacher in Madrid in day four of lockdown. Keeping busy mainly by uploading videos of dance routines and other music activities to the school's learning platform. The year three and four kids were preparing for a show, the BFG, we all know what that is. So I've just posted a video of our choreography for Shake a Tail Feather instead. I never thought I'd be doing this, but hey, if it gives the parents a few chuckles, that's a plus. I've loved the hospital podcast for a good few years now. Shout out to the DMV family. Love will get us through this. And can I get a special shout out to Lloyd and Hesky the Husky in Bournemouth, legends. I'm recording this about a week in advance. I'm hoping to step the podcast up so that they become a lot more live and we can upload them the day after I record them. It's going to take a week or so to enable me to do that. But just check on my Instagram. Bulgarian Goddess just sent in a brilliant acoustic clip of her singing Don't Give Up Now off my last album because she's self-isolating in Stockholm and the message is perfect for this time don't give up now keep positive so shout out to Daniela
from China, from Shenzhen in fact. Courtesy of Daniel Power, a brilliant label called Unchained and a really great compilation called Year of the Rap. I recommend it. Going to play a couple of tunes off that. This is by Homesick. And it's called Inner Dis VIP. Shout out here from Le Hablin who says, Tony, you look like a NATO general. Is that a coincidence? Well, my, my cover is obviously blown now. DZW says, we are all one in or out of the rave. Love, help and support each other. Absolutely echo that. I love this shout. Swicked11 says, Usually while shopping, I cough to hide a fart. But now, I fart to hide my cough. Keep laughing, keep smiling, stay positive. This will pass. Indeed it will. We don't know how long it's going to be like this for. You've probably already seen on our channels that we have taken the extremely difficult decision to postpone or cancel our events over the next three months. Postpone if possible, obviously, but there might be one or two that we simply have to cancel. Situation will be reviewed in May, at the end of May. Your money is totally safe. We're going to present to you a few maybe interesting options as to what you can actually do with your money. Um, obviously, you can have a refund if you want. You just get that from your ticket seller. But don't do that yet because we've got a few announcements coming up. Well, they, they may actually have come out already by the time you listen to this, but... Uh, we've got some extremely interesting ideas. Now, there are currently travel restrictions going into Croatia. However, we are working full pelt on the assumption that hospitality at the beach is going ahead. We believe the restrictions will be lifted in good time. Obviously, we'll keep you posted about that. The event has pretty much sold out, so... Obviously, if it doesn't go ahead, your ticket money is safe, you will get a refund. If it doesn't go ahead, I will cry my eyes out. the highlight of my year i can't i can't even stomach the thought of it but hopefully it will be going ahead miss baltica yay shout out to the hospital team for putting effort into rescheduling upcoming events very good decision hope we will meet at the beach in july big hugs to my uk ravers to Anne, colin jace and jill from belgium and Jay says, big hugs right back at ya. 
stay safe. Analog Speedbird says, please give a shout out to everybody, especially in the service industry, whether it be medical, other care services, restaurants, supermarkets, airlines, and all transport services who are working through this pandemic. I work in paediatrics and we have been working around the clock to keep our little humans comfortable, safe and well. and loved please everyone educate yourselves about this virus check on your loved ones especially the elderly but don't get too close to them wash your hands first help everybody help everyone cough into your elbow not into your mouth don't panic stay safe and respect everybody I've just realised. I hope you enjoyed that. The Need for Mirrors track. The reverb wasn't supposed to be on it. Some, uh, I was going to say idiot, um, but that's a bit unfair. Some hospital employee who's obviously been using this unit had uh, had put the reverb on the master channel. I thought it sounded really good on that Need for Mirrors tune. Anyway, Joe Moses, sorry about that. There it is again. This is called Top Boy and it's by Kumo. From a wicked new EP. Messaging from Where Find who says, Whatever happens in the world is not scary as long as we have music. Nobody cancels home raves. That is absolutely true. Nobody can cancel you having a rave at your house. So we encourage you to listen to loads and loads of music. It goes without saying, listen to the hospital playlist, the hospitality bangers playlist, the hospital relaxation room, chill out drum and bass list for when you kind of just want to kind of really chill, you know. But there's loads of great playlists out there. Someone told me there's this album called Building Better Worlds that's rather good to listen to as well. (laughs) Nobody is missing raves and parties as much as the DJs themselves. I know you are because you can't come out to them, but we are because we can't come and play and if you are a real committed DJ it's part of you it's part of your blood and not being able to do it is really hard so I'm very thankful to be able to do the podcast it helps a little bit that's one of the, partly why I'm going to do more of them but also just to keep you in touch and to keep you part of the family okay we're going to get through this It's going to be tough on our business, but we're going to get through it. I can promise you that. We are not. We're not going anywhere, okay? Shouting from Alan Luia, I think think it is, who says, I want to shout out to my mum and stepdad who both work in universities because they're taking action with no direction from the people in charge. They've both done amazing jobs of going virtual and advising students through this unknown time.
Untitled by Untitled Remixed and bootlegged by Untitled You might guess who's done it when you hear it drop This is awesome. How can I give you a clue without actually kind of like spilling the beans? I think you can actually download this off his Instagram. Um, he is... His first name is the same as the first name of the United Kingdom's... Uh, <laughs> I, I use Prime Minister advisedly. Um, anyway, he's got, he shares the same first name. Boris. I know, you've got it. So, said Boris is uh, very much back in the drum and bass driving seat right now. CJ Cerrone says first shout out from CJ Cerrone in Arizona. Big up to Tony and the hospital crew. You've been keeping me calm and cheerful with great music and your cheeky posts. Sorry, my phone just went weird then. Uh, I'll pass the positive energy to everyone I meet. Much love to everyone out in the world. We'll get through this drum and bass forever. DJ Murth says, keep calm and rave on. Is that positive enough? It kind of, kind of is, but I don't know. There's, there's just something kind of Brexit about those keep calm messages. Anyway, silver lining. Coronavirus means that all of the Brexit discussions have been cancelled, which probably means... It'll have to be put back to next year. <laughs> Sorry. British humour there. The masters at work here, Calix and TB. It's their new joint. It's called Jealousy. This podcast is all about you, so that's why there are so many shouts. From Echo Bull, who says, Hospital family will be together forever. Shout to all of you. I agree. Sorry, 
scientists at work in their lab. Massive shout out to TB and to Larry Calix. Oh, also, I saw a post from TB saying that he's remastered his first three albums on subtitles and they're going to be available on his Bandcamp very soon. So do check it out. They're phenomenal pieces of work and if he's remastered them, he might even have actually gone into the multi-track projects and kind of remixed them, I don't know. But check it out. Talking of which, and talking of using extra time that you've got, I'm gradually doing that with my early albums. But I'm actually going into the multi-track projects and kind of not really changing them, but getting them to sound better. I'll, I'll play one of them at the end. Ish. Porsche 3 says, because of this virus, I don't have to drive to work. I get extra time in bed. I can listen to whatever music I like at home while I work from home. Endless music to listen to. Look for the positives. There are some. And if you're all indoors, no one is getting sick. Power to the people. Obviously, we can't stay indoors forever. But it's all about managing the pressure on the health service. I want to give a shout out to the lady culminator who at the moment not only has to put up with me working from home but also has to put up with the secretary general and the chairman who are <laughs> they're not at school they're at home but they're at school now how does that work it's kind of difficult because their school hasn't quite got online learning prepared yet. They're trying to work it out. So uh, it's um, it's bedlam and chaos in the Coleman household with uh, with two boys who generally really really get the most fun in life out of taunting each other, arguing with each other, and. Uh, generally trying to undermine one another that's brothers for you so uh, yeah it's, it's interesting times um, we are kind of family isolating is that a word it's like where you all self isolate as a family Another tune from the brilliant Unchained album, Year of the Rat. This is called Continuum. Oh no, it's not. It's called Jealousy. No, it is, it is called Continuum. <laughs> Sorry. I recognise that ad lib. I seriously recognise that ad lib. Hang on. Let's see if it comes again. It's by an artist called Hoist. It was actually from Bristol, but has made a tune for the Chinese label, Unchained.
This is mad. Not quite the ad lib I thought it was. I actually thought it was um, a dying Charlemagne ad lib, ad lib of a hospital record, but it's not. Uh, it's probably from uh, Splice or a sample pack or something. And uh, Storm Ha says, "Hey Tony, watching how the virus is taking over Europe and the rest of the world. Um, I'm Danish, but I'm living in Seoul in Korea. It's good to see the numbers of infected are actually dropping here." Hoping the numbers also soon uh, will fall worldwide. You see? I have a feeling that in our country it's not going to fall that quickly. But uh, big shout out to everyone who's hoarding toilet paper because that means you're going to have toilet paper for about two years because nothing whatsoever about the coronavirus affects your lower intestine. In other words, you are not going to get the shits. So I don't know why you're buying loads of toilet paper. It makes no sense. You are extremely stupid. Anyway, um, Danish Storm Ha says, uh, I'm always listening to the hospital podcast while hiking out in the Korean hills. It makes me feel like everything is going to be all right. Stay safe, stay clean and stay healthy. P.S. Hospital will make it to Korea someday. I know they will. Christian Storm. Thank you, Christian. That was very nice. Uh, right, I better queue up this next tune before I play it. It might help. Brand new music from A Size. I've got a couple of tunes off his new EP because it is really, really lovely. Big shout to Jason A Size. Proper geezer, proper positive influence on everybody around him. This is called Conscious Dub. And uh, Vadixar, who writes in quite a lot, um, he's from Russia and he says, Spread love, always smile, and stay safe. Much love and support from Russia. Peglet Lou says, Can I have a shout out to my partner Nick who has to put up with daily abuse from the stockpiling hordes at his shop? It's not his fault there's no toilet roll. There you go. Uh, Twiz Flex simply says, Big up me and the Flex FM team. Okay, big you up. Uh, Ceremonian, so shout out to all those who stay at home if they can, helping to save lives. Yeah, that's a really good simple one. those tunes that makes me wish I could MC. Head for Running says shout out to my wife and other shop workers dealing with people going crazy with professionalism and grace maybe through gritted teeth. Again, people going mad in shops just buying anything they can. Uh, stay clean, stay healthy, we will prevail. Funky Bump says hi Tony. Can I have a shout out for my wife Nadine? We're currently self-isolating, working from home, having returned from a deserted but beautiful Venice last week. Wow, you did well getting out of there. We managed to find our way home despite cancelled flights, and it's true, you know. You can be more productive working from home. Without office distractions, my wife has smashed her targets for the week already, and it's only Tuesday. Stay safe, Matt. Luckily, here at Hospital Records, we don't have targets, so everyone's got to work all week. 
Sorry, staff. Our target is to keep the music rolling and to keep you lot happy. And uh, Eves, Art Eves, says shout out to the NHS and the Italian medical professionals that are doing their best with a really bad situation and to all medical and utility professionals keeping hearts beating, water running and the electricity flowing. Absolutely. And uh, a massive shout out to people who work in internet providers as well because it's, it's funny to say it and think it but if the internet went down that would kind of be Armageddon wouldn't it or it might be an amazingly good thing for everyone's mental health probably would be but seriously do use this time so have a look at your life look at how you live your life normally step back and actually think about it and think about what you can change for the better because time is something that's so valuable because that's all we've got we've only got time in our lives we haven't really got anything else and yet most of us waste it working too hard just trying to accumulate worldly goods when we could be spending it chilling, admiring the countryside, talking to people, talking to your neighbours, having a laugh, listening to drum and bass. Incoming brand new music from Heist. This is on Collab, it's called Cloak, check it out. Big shout going out to Jim Heist. And uh, M Fieldy says, this too shall pass. In the meantime, I'm going to clean out my garage and pull out all the weeds from my garden. Very sensible. Bobby Wilde says, finally, I've had some time to read some books, reorganise my things. I did some cleaning, slept in late. I watched reruns of Friends. <laughs> okay. Um... And I sold some stuff that was long overdue. Productive so far, I would say. But most importantly, I got in touch with all my friends from other countries, making sure that everyone is safe. That's really nice. 45 Green says, I got to spend some quality time with Chris here in Paris at the start of the month, which was brilliant. Massive love to you and all the hospital people. Uh, Twisty5000 says, I've been filling my time learning about music production and reworking all my folders of music to a more sensible order, like I should have done anyway. That's a really good idea. I should do that, because mine are in a mess. Graham Smith says, hi from lockdown Spain. Much love. Hashtag, I am not infected. Have you been tested? Do you know that for sure? You see, we don't really have access to testing here in the UK. Futura Rhymes says, I came back from a family visit with a nasty cough and cold and my work colleagues and friends have been so supportive 
I arrived back on Sunday and they said I couldn't work for a week. So, I've been moved to another hotel and anything I've needed they have helped with. I've just been filling my time with writing and now I'm allowed to go back in my room and get my computer and wrap myself up in logic for the rest of time. Yes! But the best thing was Sunday. I was cooked a huge roast dinner and it made my day when I'd found out I'd been off for the next week at least. DJ A Fellow says, greetings Tony, a big shout out to international friends still trying to get home. Much love. And uh, Cole Richardson 1999 says, I just downloaded Fruity Loop Studio and decided during this time of isolation, I'm going to learn how to make tunes. You see, this is what it's all about. Be creative, be positive. Now, as I, as I mentioned, I'm gradually, uh, very gradually, going through my old tunes and giving them a little tickle on the mix down. This is one of them. From Billion Dollar Gravy, this is Harlesden. updated version. I'm gonna ha- I haven't quite finished updating it yet. But I should have the whole album updated by 2023 when it will be 20 years old. takes me right back to 2003 and the swerve days I remember after I made this I gave it to Fabio and a week later I asked him what he thought of it and he said yeah bro nice little roller now those of us who know and love Fabio know that that means either he hasn't listened to it yet or he wasn't really in it Shout out to Fabs, love you, mate. This tune was called Harlesden, obviously because I was living in Harlesden when I started writing it. And Harlesden was an amazing place to live. If you wanted to catch a a flight from Heathrow to go and do a gig. (laughs) Only took 20 minutes to get there. what though 
when the bands are lifted and when we can have raves again can you imagine what the first few raves are going to be like they're going to be absolutely insane A lot of people are obviously asking me what's happening in September, hospitality-wise. Well, if you've been keeping an eye on our channels, you should know. Just in case we don't release information before this podcast goes out, I'm not going to tell you. But it's special. And uh, Anna1234 says, day two of working from home for both me and my hubby, and I'm ready to kill him. I wonder how many other, I wonder how many people will end up divorced after this isolation period. Only thing keeping us going and keeping us from killing each other is our love of drum and bass, and in particular, our love for your hospitality podcast. Um, would love a shout out, Anne and Ben in Newcastle, UK. Please come to the northeast soon, London Electricity. Please don't kill each other. Come on. If it's any consolation, I think that probably every couple who are self-isolating are experiencing similar emotions. new music from Unglued featuring GQ. It's the Mike Strangler. Now, this is from the Zen EP. It's out right now. It came out on the 18th of March. But only this track, because the full EP doesn't come out until the 10th of April. Moves them heavy like oversized baggage, or too heavy for the skills, even the skills I can't manage. Yo, I do damage everywhere that I go. Mystic, you were pulling a mic, I've got that boost in flow. Uh, yo, the coldest, said you know this. Yo, so damn hot, yo, and so braggadocious. Explosive when the flow is. Yo, so damn the coldest, you can live upon the mic, I feel got damage, and you know this. Blah, blah. And don't forget out right now, his first single on Hospital Records, Troopers Hill and Old School Lane by Kino. I played those in the last podcast. Absolutely amazing tunes. And the boy is on fire, I can tell you that. As is Josh Unglued, you wouldn't believe the beats he's got.
cannot wait to play you the whole EP. It's fantastic. Now, this is not coming out on Hospital. And uh, you have to forgive me, I can't remember the name of the label that it is coming out on, but it's by Bop. And it's called Fragile Moments. And uh, Thomas Battle G, that's an interesting name. Shout out to the lovely Cheeky Monday and Plasma Lab events for hosting such amazing events in my hometown of Amsterdam. I hope that they can reopen their business again soon. Yeah, and I want to add to that. A huge shout out to all promoters worldwide. Obviously drum and bass. But also other genres too. Because we fall under that category as well. And promoters are not protected. So events closures yeah they hurt you you can't go and see the bands or the acts that you really really want to go and see and have a party but you need to think about the people who are putting the parties on and literally losing six figures or more when the parties don't happen it's very very tough times a lot of companies are going to go bust over the forthcoming months. Glad to say that we're not one of them. And the simple reason for that is I am one of the tightest people you will ever meet. But applied to business, that means we can afford to ride, ride it out. That's why I've never bought a fast car or spent money on luxury things. So many things to remember. So fragile and rare. Because I want to keep this ship going. Keep this ship floating. The ghosts from my keep hospital on course. Me. And the same applies to all the amazing the staff, continues. managers and directors who work at hospital records. We all but have I one aim. You. To be here to for a long, long time. I want to feel safe. I want peace. Shout in from Saka Pukarava, who says, Tony, regarding hospitality at the dock, I've got so much respect for you for choosing the raver's safety over profit. It must have been a very painful decision, but highly appreciated by everyone from countries on lockdown and here in London. There should be an option to donate the ticket price amount towards the organisers if it won't get postponed but cancelled. Much love and hopefully see you at Hospitality in the Park in September. Spread love. Now you don't have to donate your money, but buy a couple of records or something like that. Make, make sure the artists actually can kind of like, you know, keep doing what they're doing. It's all about supporting the artists. So stream their music on Spotify, buy their vinyl. Ooh, what's this? Which I'm dying all the best I had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. People running circles is a very, very mad world. It's 
Music by Molly Collins. It's a cover version of Mad World. And it features the amazing Lee Guest on vocals. Quite appropriate for these times. Darina Voloshina says, I totally agree with the last comment on this one. We have an unprecedented situation and it's up to us how we use the time and opportunities we've got. I also think this case will show us the real value of people and relationships the attitude of our governments, employers, our neighbours, friends and family in such circumstances when only collective effort matters. Stay safe, stay positive. Another cut from the A-Sides EP now, and this features the singing fat on vocals, it's called Arctic. from Adric Sommer who says uh, Tony can I please get a shout out for my fiance Rika she's currently stuck in a lockdown on the island of Luzon in the Philippines horrible times for the world please brighten it with your amazing music massive love from your number one Adelaide fan Adric and 
and he says, oh PS, I'm at home on a 14 day self quarantine after returning home from overseas. I'm spending my time catching up on Netflix and repairing model aircraft. I love that. You're a kid, I love that. Oh, and Ned Alphanast says, yes, building model planes while listening to drum and bass. You are not the only one. That's amazing. And Ned's just sent me a photo of a plane that he just made. It looks really, really good. I don't know what model it is. She looks like a training aircraft. It looks like the American equivalent of the Red Arrows, whatever that was. Edward Hill says, it's a strange time at the moment. The uncertainty is proving very difficult, but I'm looking forward to heading back from university early spend some more time with my family next week. Liam Blackwell says, I've just been freed from isolation after returning from Venice. The plus side is, we have the city almost to ourselves. Can you shout out to my wife Lizzie for keeping the boredom at bay? And Liam says, and she did that by doing crazy dances in unicorn onesies mostly. There you go. Chris Malcolm says, thank you, Tony. Big ups to the hospital family. I'm a district sales manager for a major communications company here in the States. I'm out here on the road, traveling to various locations, maintaining positive energy for my sales team and myself. It's great to have your podcast on the road with me. Thank you. David Crawford says, I'll tell you a story about one of my favorite artists of all time. He refuses to play in the United States because of inverted commas gun violence pretty sad considering thousands of artists from around the world play here every year with no problems when or if this coronavirus scare dies down Tony you should seriously consider playing for your fans here whoa telling me off eh David, it's it's my choice. I have a family. I don't want my children to be an orphan, and I don't really mind if. Well, obviously, I'm very happy that no one else has been shot. But there are random shootings that are going off in America because everybody has guns. Some people get caught in the crossfire. I don't want to be one of them. So until your country has proper gun control, I'm not going to be playing that. It's really not rocket science.
This is Changing Faces featuring Lottie Wood. This is a tune called Collide. Big shout going out to Changing Faces. Adrian Banks says, My office is in lockdown, so working from home, listening to the fantastic Hospital Records podcast and Maddox Ear Mixes. They make me work faster. Kudos and ultimate respect to our NHS. Indeed. People in the NHS, they are on the front line fighting all the time. They need to be appreciated as much as possible. Sarah Rawlinson says shout out to everyone working hard to combat the pandemic right now here in the US it's starting to ramp up and it's beginning to be taken seriously we cannot thank healthcare workers grocery workers and our everyday neighbours working through this unprecedented situation really grateful to have drum and bass to get us through too Emmy Thompson hi Tony shout out to the hospitality and hospital records and small business owners who are not only having to deal with the outbreak but huge loss of business too. Much love. Thomas Pundrick, please give simply one big shout to all the people worldwide who are working their arses off in important jobs like hospitals, emergency services, looking after the elderly, handicapped aid, grocery stores, helping the homeless, etc. Amen to that. couple more before the last tune of the podcast uh, I've had so much response now uh, to this really I was just asking people what you know what they're doing while they're in this situation um, Julian Francis Jones Rico great name says got a big stack of newspapers and a lot of books I'll be reading when not working <coughs> from home all while listening to hospital and other drama based liquid labels obviously Ross uh, Simpson says, tomorrow's another day. Uh, that's the next guy track. Uh, it's Ross from Japan. Cheers. Um, Sasha says, big up from Poland. Yanni Sastomanen, who must be from... Oh, yeah. Three weeks remoting so far. Finland in shutdown. Time to work on some tunes and maybe do a few more walks outside. Imogen Thomas says, good man, spread the light. Yes, Imogen. Gav S. So says, hi, Tony, I'm a teacher. So obviously we're frontline here in the UK. We also we also teach stacks of kids whose parents are in the NHS. So we feel we have a duty, not just to them, but also to our community to keep going as long as is safe. What I want to say, though, is that if you have staff in a high risk category, let them go home, protect them. I know you're not in charge here, Tony. I wish you were. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not. My God. Uh, but if any school leaders are actually listening, please pass that on. Much love. Rob Mint uh, says, bigging it up from Germany. Everybody isolate. Ned Alphanast, always great wisdom from Tony. Thanks, man. Me, myself, am taking this time to learn the piano. Oh, you're the guy who, who builds model planes as well. Um, I've never played an instrument before, and this is just the right time to learn how to play the piano. I hope to get through the lonely days in my apartment doing that. You see, that's how to use extra time that you suddenly find yourself landed with. Learn an instrument or have a go at learning an instrument and discover that you're no good at it. It doesn't matter. Listen to, listen to artists that you never thought you'd like. Just randomly choose tunes on streaming services or order vinyl from record shops because they're suffering too. Not just the hospital shop. Other independent shops who trade online. Go online and buy vinyl. Go and buy a record player. Go for walks. Go, go to the countryside. Do stuff that you don't normally do. This is awesome. So this is Yoris Voom. It's a tune called Messiah. J Magic on remix. J Magic is back. 
This is a fantastic remix. volume writes in to say Tony just to say even though my year has started really badly I'm currently living in a flat above a village pub and friends like Pete Lay have been my support and saviours not to mention hospital drum and bass thank you and oh Otto Trisector writes in to say shout out to my cat Akai yes what a name who seems to be kind of confused about why I'm here all the time. <laughs> it's day 12 of my isolation. You see, Finland have got it right. They're well ahead of the curve. Shout from DMB Direct, who says, Massive mate, love the positive spirit. I'm just praying hospitality on the beach will go ahead. My first time going this year, and I can't wait. Well, you're not the only one there, mate. Shout out to Riot Jazz and Steve Pycroft. Torres Illustracioni says, uh, hey Tony, hope you're well, wash your hands. How did you know? Shout out to Life of Hells, who's just done her own version of the Are We There Yet album cover. And Saucy65, who says, London, can I get... I'm not called London, I'm called Tony. Can I get a shout out to my pal Ryan Kinsey? Uh, we work together and listen to drum and bass together and we are both doing our part to instill some sanity during this strange time. Stay safe and isolate yourself with good tunes, everybody. Well, that's it for today's podcast. Um, I didn't get everybody's shouts in, but I'm going to be doing these podcasts at least once a week. So uh, there'll be plenty of opportunity for you to tell me your stories of isolation and what you've been getting up to. Sorry, I just had a really, really bad image in my head then, which I'm not going to share with you. Um, Anyway, listen, stay safe. Wash your hands for 20 seconds under searingly hot water. Um, Bacterial gel unless it's got alcohol in it, doesn't really kill viruses. Um, You need alcohol gel, which is really, really hard to get. Uh, But here's a little tip. 
may not sound clever or nice, but if you dilute bleach, like really dilute it, I think it's something like two or three tablespoons in a gallon of water, um, and uh, have a bowl of that by your basin, and just put your hands in there for a few seconds. That kills all viruses uh, on your hands. So it works. It really works. So um, there, there, there's other ways of doing it with other chemicals. You can you can Google it, but um, don't assume that everybody's okay. Someone may look okay, but they may be carrying the infection. So stay safe out there. Stay positive. Make the most of this change in our lives. It, we It can be a positive thing. It can make us really think about who we are, what we're doing, and what what is that person over there doing? Why are they doing that? And why have they always been doing that? And do I really want to be with that person who's been doing that all these years? Well, maybe this is the time to make a decision. Who knows? Uh, the main thing is, listen to lots and lots more drum and bass. So, with that, I'm going to say peace out. It's been an absolute pleasure, and uh, I'll catch up with you next week. One love.